An annual well woman exam is when we have patients come in roughly once a year so that we can address any changes or concerns that have come up over the past year. We can check in to see if they have any contraceptive needs or any discussion that we need to have about fertility. We also will do a physical exam, usually including a breast exam, and then we see if lab tests or other testing is needed. Uh, the one thing I will point out though is that an annual exam is not just a pap smear. And many women are a little confused about that these days because uh, the recent guidelines have changed. And so now women are advised to have a pap smear every three to five years instead of yearly like we used to do. And so in that transition, it's been a little confusing for some women because they think, well, if I don't need my pap smear, then I guess I don't need to see the gynecologist. Uh, that's not true because there's so many other things that we deal with with at the annual visit besides the pap smear and so we really like to see our ladies on a yearly basis. What we cover during a well woman exam depends on the patient's age. So teenagers, I tell them they may not have to have a pelvic exam every time they come in, but it's a time for us to get to know each other, to talk about relationships, to talk about um, safe sex, to talk about contraception, to talk about um, anything that, that's going on in their life. When you think about it, we as gynecologists are at such a unique position in our interaction with women because we're with them through so many different seasons of their life. We start out with them as they're transitioning from a young girl, little girl, to womanhood and then we carry through into the reproductive years and, and maybe when there's fertility issues, childbearing issues, uh, sexuality issues. People have a lot of questions about um, getting pregnant. I think a lot of women come in and are worried about whether or not they'll be able to get pregnant and we can talk about their specific health and their specific medical history and um, whether or not there are any concerns we should have. And then we talk about what birth control is right for them, when they might start to try getting pregnant, and what the timing of that looks like. And then carry on into the menopausal years where there's some new challenges there as well. There are a lot of questions surrounding menopause, when it's going to happen, how long it's going to last, whether or not hormone replacement therapy is a good thing or a bad thing, and that's very individualized based on a patient's family history and their medical history and how they're feeling in general. So I do still like to see my menopausal and postmenopausal patients yearly. So we have this really unique opportunity to educate at each level and to journey with these women as they're going through these major changes in their life. I think it's so important to have a long-term relationship with your gynecologist. I mean, I feel so incredibly honored to be able to journey with these women through all the seasons of their, their life. There's nothing that is off the record and there's no judgment. You can have that open discussion and you know it's safe and they finally can maybe get some direction on how to, to handle that situation. It's very easy to schedule an annual well woman exam because now you can do it online, which is perfect because you can do it any time of the day and day or night, seven days a week. But if, and if that's not convenient for you, you can always call.